Now we have three pods, but only two of them are currently let out. The third one hasn't uh, had the flooring or put the, uh, the bed frames haven't been put in yet. Because back in the spring, we noticed up in the top there, there's a swallow's nest. And it's one of those things where we could have kept on top of it and kept taking the nest down and so on, you know, so they don't actually finish the nest and they don't build, uh, you know, they don't lay eggs. But instead, uh, we let them do their thing for the spring because on the basis that early in the year, business is a little bit quiet and we didn't really need the third pod at that point. Um, so, all right, let's let, you know, nature take its course and we'll worry about that later. Anyway, they fledged uh, about a week or so ago. Uh, and I was just considering getting this one up to the same spec as the other two so we can, you know, have people actually sleep in it. I thought it's just set up for, you know, people can go and sit in there and eat or whatever if they want to. So, all great, fantastic, great, good to go. Isn't it nice? And then, and I'll show you this. So you can see I'm up doing the cleaning, doing the turnaround, ready for new guests. And we've got a new nest being built. So I thought, eh, okay. I'll have to think about what I'm going to do about that. And then I went next door to do the other one. And there's another swallow's nest. So we're going to have to come up with some sort of accommodation where the swallows can stay. But, I mean, they're constantly dropping mud on the front steps. I'm having to sweep it up every day. And then later on in the season, when they got young, there's an awful lot of bird droppings. So that has to be dealt with as waste, because it can be done with that, you know, around customers. It also makes cleaning difficult. So I'm going to finish doing the cleaning job. And I'm going to think about what way I'm going to do it. And then I'm going to have to install something. But have a look at this. So with the bed put in the middle, as it, you know, because they can be pushed together into a double, I just spent five minutes sitting there and watching the swallows coming right in and they veer up right at the last second. So I was able to sit there on the bed and watch these swallows coming, zooming right in, really close. Very, very cool. So after I've worked out what I'm going to do about this, that's something that, yeah, that'll be a nice fun thing for customers. So it's the day after I filmed that last bit and uh, yeah, I just about managed to get it done yesterday before I had to stop filming because customers arrived. So uh, yeah, I popped out today to do it, but it's wet. So yeah, I'm not going to leave the camera exposed for long, but I'll show you what I've done. So you can see there's a little wooden platform just to catch all that mud. And you can see, it doesn't seem to have bothered them because they really put some more on that. That's flying along. And I think I've worked out why it's quicker than it was before. It's because previously that stuff would drop and it'd end up down on the floor and have to sweep it up and so on. Whereas now it lands on this platform. So what I think is happening is as well, it's recycling it from this platform because they can still reach it easily without going to ground and put it straight on, which is why this is going up much quicker. So all three pods have got those now. So that's the housing on the pods done. I'm also going to do some in this structure, which is the toilet block. You can see there's quite high eaves, so that'll be ideal. Uh, so yeah, we should end up with plenty more swallows. Now the reason we want swallows is because the entire space behind me, all around the pods, and you know the entire top section of the field, is going to be a food forest slash orchard kind of uh, kind of environment. Um, and really you use things like swallows and other birds as well as pest control uh, you know they really keep a nice balance in the bird put in the uh, insect population and yeah it's uh, it's just nice to have them around as well you know but also uh, let's not forget that instead of those droppings now coming down onto the floor where i've got to clean them up every day and curse uh, they're now going to build up on top of that platform so i can come through every well, every nest, I suppose, every every uh, clutch of eggs once they've uh, fledged and they've left, I can come through and I can sc you know, scrape that off and I've got some of the best fertilizer on the planet. It's amazing stuff. You know, there are cultures that have been founded on harvesting this sort of thing off cliff faces and stuff. You know, it's, it's amazing. So yeah, just with a few little boards, we get more functionality in the food forest and we get fertility. Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what's not to like? So I'm going to crack on with the rest tomorrow but I'm going to call that video there because uh, yeah it's pretty much variations on a theme so yeah 
We've got plenty of swallows. <laughs>